and welcome to my kitchen. We are going to make chocolate chip cookies today. So I've got my son Hunter here. He's going ahead and cracking three whole eggs in a bowl for me. You want the whites and the yolks. Um, and this chocolate chip cookie recipe is kind of a chewy recipe. It is not the cake-like big thick ones. It kind of flattens out when you bake it. They're my favorite kind. So that is what we're going to attempt to make today. So he says three whole eggs. I've got one and a half cups of melted butter. I've got some brown sugar, and I'll go through the measurements again. I'll leave those in the description of the video as well. All-purpose flour, some evaporated milk, vanilla extract, chocolate chips, and then I have a mix of salt, baking soda, and cornstarch. Or wash your hands. All right, so what you're gonna do, any cookie dough that you make, this is not just chocolate chip, any cookie dough, you're always gonna start with whatever your sugar is, whether it's white granulated sugar, or brown sugar, dark brown sugar, so this is just light brown sugar, so you're gonna dump that in, and this is two and a half cups of light brown sugar. Dump that in. Now we're gonna pour in the two, or I'm sorry, the one and a half cups of melted unsalted butter. Always wanna use unsalted. You don't want extra salt in your recipes if you don't have to. But you wanna make sure it's completely melted, not just softened. Then you're going to put your mixer on low at the very beginning, just to incorporate it, and then I'll turn it up a little bit. So I've got it completely incorporated, but I really wanna make sure that sugar completely blends into the melted butter. So I'm gonna bump it up to probably medium, maybe medium high, just for a couple of minutes until it looks more dough-like. So it probably went on medium high speed for about two minutes, minute and a half. I just kind of want to show you what that looks like. See, that's kind of, I don't know, like wet sand almost. So that's the kind of consistency you're looking for at this point. You don't want it to be too runny. It's thickened up a little bit, so that's what we're looking for. So now we're going to add the eggs. Hunter, I'm going to have you do that. And you kind of want to do like half and half, so or one egg at a time. You don't want to dump in all at once. And as he's doing that, I'm going to, here, hold on just a second. Let me bump this up. I'm going to raise my bowl back up and put it on low, and he can continue to add those as it stirs. And these you don't have to really beat into the mixture, but you do want to make sure they're pretty incorporated. So I'm gonna let that run 20 seconds, something like that. And then I'm gonna scrape the bowl down really good. Okay, so those are completely incorporated. So again, you wanna scrape that bowl down. This is just a rubber, rubber spatula, and it is kind of flexible, which is what you want. You know, if it's too stiff, it's hard to get under that blade when you're going to scrape the bottom of your bowl. All right, so now we're going to add the rest of our wet ingredients, which are one and a half ounces of evaporated milk. So Hunter, if you'll dump that in, and you can just dump this all at once. I'll go ahead and mix that in. All right, now we're gonna add some pure vanilla extract. So Hunter, that's what this is. And that's about a tablespoon of vanilla. Thank you. Same thing, you just wanna incorporate it. So now I'm going to scrape my bowl down again. You always have to scrape the bowl down. It's annoying and a little bit tedious at times, especially if you're doing a lot of cookie dough around the holidays, but it really does make a difference and make sure none of your dry ingredients get stuck to the bottom of your bowl. All right, so now that I've scraped this bowl down of the wet ingredients, I'm just going to turn it back on. Whoa. Incorporate that really, really good. Okay, so now all of our wet ingredients are incorporated completely, so we're going to start adding in our dry. So I've got two teaspoons of cornstarch, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. So once you get those mixed, then you're going to dump them in your bowl of all-purpose flour. And I have four cups of flour here, so you're going to go ahead and dump that in. There you go. I'll take that. If you want to keep the fork, I'm actually going to have you stir it a couple times in the flour. Now, when you go to add this, you're gonna to wanna to drop your bowl down. And then I would suggest grabbing like one cup measuring scoop, something like that, and dumping it in a cup at a time. So I'll grab one of those. This is actually half a cup, but we're gonna do two scoops at a time. We're gonna, so here we go, do a couple scoops. And then we're gonna 
turn it on this lowest setting because you do not want flour to come shooting out of this mixer at you. And it will. And as that slowly incorporates, you can bump the speed a little bit. Alright, we're going to do that again. And remember, this dough, because it is really thin where we did the melted butter, you're going to have to refrigerate it overnight. You're not going to be able to bake this right away or it'll just run all over your pan. last part, I'm just going to dump in the rest of it. Oh, still got a little bit more. All right, and then again, on lowest setting. You do not want to beat the cookie dough at this point. Any cookie dough, once you start adding your dry ingredients, you're not going to want to beat that on high because it gives you too much air. So we just want to incorporate it till you don't see all the flour stuck to the side of the bowl or the bottom of the bowl. I'm pretty sure we're there. So we're going to stop that, scrape our bowl down again. All right. So to add the chocolate chips, I like to add them by hand. I don't like to put them in the mixer. They don't need to be beat into the cookie dough. You're just kind of folding them in. So I'm going to scrape this down, and then I'm going to have Hunter dump those in for me. All right. I'm going to sprinkle those just all over the top. You can just dump the whole thing in, like this. Yeah. All right. And now you notice you're not wanting those were coming in, but this is about half regular size chocolate chips and half mini chocolate chips because that's what I had on hand. And I don't think it makes much of a difference. So as you can see, he's had a little trouble stirring that because those chocolate chips, there's a lot in there. So what I would suggest is doing more like a fold. So go to the bottom and flip it over. Look at it as much as possible. And that's what you're left with. It looks amazing. You almost want to get a spoon and just eat it. But what we're going to do is we are going to cover this bowl in plastic wrap and pop it into our refrigerator. I'm going to let it sit overnight. So tomorrow morning, I'll do another video and I'll show you how you can scoop this out onto your cookie sheets to bake or to freeze. So we'll see you back in the morning.